Here's how to set up the timeline for a performance on BookLive. Setting up a timeline has many benefits, the first of which is to keep your own thoughts organized about the flow of a specific performance. Uh, for many events like weddings, they have multiple components to them. For example, a wedding ceremony can be broken down into the prelude, the walks down the aisle, any unity candles, recessional and postlude. And it's important to be able to indicate those so that both you and your clients are on the same page about when those events happen and so that you can put songs and appropriate repertoire into those sections of the timeline. It also provides a super easy way for you to clearly communicate that timeline to other members of your musical act who might be joining you on that performance. So when you set up a new performance on BookLive, typically the uh, timeline that's created is very generic with a first set set to noon. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the start time of the performance. Make sure it is the true start time of the music. For example, if a wedding starts at 430, oftentimes the music will start at four o'clock. So click on the actions button in the performance, uncheck the timing to be determined box and set the actual start time of the wedding. In this case, let's do four o'clock PM. And then we're going to do Let's try that again, four o'clock PM and click OK, and then set the end time to what uh, what is appropriate. So 530 here. And then we're on the timeline tab on the performance. So make sure you click the timeline tab. You'll see that first set, which is no longer accurate. And so you can manually edit the time of that first set. So let's say you were to do a one hour long performance. Let's change this first set to start directly at four o'clock. So you can click that and then click save and that will update the timeline to be first set. Now, there is a huge shortcut, especially if you do a lot of events that have multiple timeline events inside of it, which is using these timeline templates. So on the bottom, click add and then click Timeline Template, and BookLive gives you a few preloaded timeline templates, such as a standard wedding ceremony, a wedding ceremony plus cocktail hour, a full Catholic wedding, or a wedding reception. So let's say we're doing a standard wedding ceremony. Go ahead and click on that and create timeline. BookLive is gonna confirm, are you sure you wanna replace the current timeline? This will remove all previously selected songs. So be sure this is a destructive action, so make sure that you are ready to do this. Then click OK, and it will put that exact template onto this timeline. So here the, the wedding starts at 4.30, so four o'clock is the prelude, 4.30 is the pr procession of the mothers, and then the procession of the wedding party. We often indicate that there are TBD timings because we don't know exactly how long certain events are going to take place, and I don't wanna put the pressure on the person I'm working with to try to figure it out exactly to the minute. So I leave a lot of the processions, TBD, the stuff inside of a wedding TBD and a recessional DVD uh, TBD as well. Now you can test out some of these other timelines, click add timeline template and try the full Catholic wedding and see how that is different. And that will replace it. Similar structure with a prelude, but now we have additional components like a Gloria, the readings, the Psalm, etc. So that is how to set up a timeline so that you can add songs to those specific items in a performance in BookLive.